Welcome back. We are here on eTuro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, October 9th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner or hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start out by looking at W2I oil. And as you can see, oil has rallied quite significantly. Well, first of all, I have to say, this is not due to demand for oil. This is basically due to um, production of oil being shut down in Norway and also in the United States due to strikes in Norway and due to the, to, um, to the hurricane Delta that is hitting uh, the Gulf Coast at this, well, at this moment, I, I would just presume. Um, so production is kind of will be cut significantly in Norway and uh, production will be cut uh, 90% in the United States. So, of course, oil will basically increase in price due to that, those production ca cuts. However, that should be short-lived. There just isn't that demand for oil in the world economy at this point. So we may see this market turn around at any time soon, um, at basically at any point. Uh, we have rallied above the 50 moving average. We have, we have basically closed above the 50 moving average. However, we are still testing these highs, these previous highs, and we haven't basically crossed those highs. So until we do that, we may see um, this market go a little bit higher and then just turn around and head to the downside. As I said, this is not due to um, demand. This is due to production uh, cuts at this, at this point. And therefore, the price of oil is increasing. Uh, I would ex um, expect the price of oil to go below the 50 moving average and also below the 200 moving average and then visit these lows of uh, $37 uh, within the next uh, week or two. We can look at how low oil may go. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements. Oil is could fall all the way down towards the $30. However, we will go and test in these lows first at the $37, $36 and then 35 before going to $30. If we were to explode to the upside, which is technically possible uh, if uh, production is down for a significant amount of time, and then we may go to these highs of uh, at $43, and we may as well make a uh, um, short uh, rally up towards $50 before uh, turning around from there. However, I just don't expect um, oil to rally for a significant long, significant amount of time. Um, stimulus talks are also a reason why oil is basically, I need to get back to my moving average here, 50 moving, 200 moving average, reason why oil is also rallying at the moment is due to speculation that there's going to be a new stimulus bill. However, I don't expect that to be the case. Uh, American politics at the moment are very uh, chaotic, chaotic at, the, at this point, and I don't really see how uh, Democrats and Republicans are going to come together uh, to sign any uh, bill that is of significance. Um, we may not see a bill until January. If I were to to uh, to make a prediction, uh, we probably won't see another stimulus bill until January. Because if Donald Trump loses the election, then there's going to be like three months of just complete chaos in in the United States politics, and he will do whatever it basically take takes to burn down the house. So. Uh, that is not a good sign for oil either, or the United States economy or the world economy as a whole. If you look at natural gas, well, natural gas has rallied uh, quite significantly today, around 2%. And at this point, we may see um, this market turn around. We have been here several times before 
and <clears throat> at this point we are quite overstretched it would make sense for uh, for another turn around towards the 50 moving average and then bounce from there so as long as weather conditions in the united states are as they are as long as there is, is extreme drought and warm weather then uh, the demand for natural gas will uh, be really uh, extremely high and therefore the price of natural gas will go higher if we were to break down to uh, below the 50 moving average then we have the 200 moving average underneath uh, however the 50 moving average is significant support and uh, yes um, a breakthrough the 50 moving average will most certainly also be uh, a trend reversal we're coming into the colder months of the year so we may not see um, a pull a major pullback because um, the colder temperature uh, in the united parts of the united states will also increase uh, the demand for natural gas so if we break this level here we'll go to these uh, highs of um, 2.9 and then we'll go to 3.4, uh, probably to 3.3 first, and then 3.4. And after that, then sky's the limit, actually. So if you look at copper, copper has rallied again today. We had a, a, quite a uh, big pullback. I was expecting uh, this pullback to be uh, a major pullback uh, towards back under the 50 moving average however we at this point we are trading above the 50 moving average uh, however we have not uh, we did not close above these highs of yesterday's session we closed below um, and so at this point if we look at the technical indicators they are fairly bullish the rsi is kind of flat the stochastic is very bullish. That's the, the MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicating uh, a bullish momentum. So we may see a market that's going to test uh, 3.07 and then all the way to uh, 3.11. Um, that is possible. It, this, if you uh, look at these indicators here, they are uh, quite bullish. And uh, this run um, uh, is fairly bullish so my prediction that we were heading towards the uh, 200 moving average well at this point that doesn't look very likely however we did do a similar run only a few uh, trading days ago and then just fell off a cliff it is quite uncertain i don't really uh, I technically stopped trading in this market at this point because I like trading at um, at major support or major resistance level. And at this point, we are just trading um, in between. We need to um, have a pullback underneath the 50 moving average towards the 200 moving average for this to be interesting for a sell or a short. Or we need to break these little highs in order to um, give indication that we are going significantly higher in this market so if you look at gold gold is still struggling and at this point i'm just waiting for this market to break down uh, there is just too much uh, resistance above we have this all right, we have this trend line here, which we have tried to to break several times, one, two, three, four, uh, three times uh, in the re uh, in the last uh, four days, and we have not been successful. So at this point, this market can break down at any time. Uh, first uh, stop should be eighteen hundred and fifty, then the eighteen eighteen hundred, and then towards the two hundred moving average. Of course, we have this uh, resistant line here. We have the 50 uh, moving average just above. And then we have this entire area here as, um, as also resistant. So there's just too much resistance above. And therefore, I don't expect this market to 
get through this um, resistant area anytime soon. We'll probably go uh, have a pullback from here and then um, and then get enough in momentum to go through this area. Long run for for gold. I'm of course yeah, I'm I'm bullish. Uh, as long as central banks are just pumping liquidity and cheap uh, 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 pumping liquidity into the markets, uh, this that should be basically um, very bullish for for gold. We look at silver. So silver, is the same thing. This is not a nice candle. This is a really um, bearish looking candle here. Just a sign of weakness. We're just trading sideways at this point. And it's similar to gold. I do expect this market to break down uh, further towards the $20, uh, $20 range. And that will also be um, in proximity of, of the 200 moving average. And after that, I do expect this market to bounce. The technical indicators are fairly bearish, all of them. And... If we were to bring, uh, basically rally from here, I would expect the 50 moving average to be significant resistant. And if we break above that, then we'll have this entire area here, which we tried to go through um, a few weeks ago and we failed. So at this point, similar to gold, I think I'm expecting a breakdown before we go higher from here. So we look at Kokoa. So, Kokoa rallied, and we ended above the 200 moving average, and now it starts to look more promising. Um, the last few trading sessions, this was really bearish, and I did um, expect this market to, to uh, start going all the way towards this price level here, 2.355. However, we did rally, and now we're trading above the 200 moving average, and uh, we are going to probably test the uh, 50 moving average tomorrow due to the fact that these indicators are looking more promising. We can see that the uh, stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating bullish momentum. The MACD is about uh, is quite far away from the signal line, but we'll probably get there on Monday or next Tuesday. And then it will also indicate uh, uh, a bearish momentum. A break above the 50 moving average will go to these highs at um, 2.5 to 2.6. And a breakdown below the this candlestick here will go towards 2.352. And after that, far, far down. So if you look at Platinum, we can see that Platinum has uh, rallied and broken down again. And at this point, we are trading just above the 200 moving average, uh, just stopped at the 200 moving average. Um, and at this point, we may go to the upside, we may go to the downside. There's just a lot of uh, support uh, in the downside. And to the upside, we have the 15 moving average at uh, 915. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, then we'll go to these levels at to 938 uh, and then to these highs of 980 and then to 1000. Uh, so if we were to break down from here, this entire area here is support. This entire area is support. If we were to break down to through this entire support area, then we'll go all the way down to 584. And last but not least, sugar. So sugar rallied again today and then gave uh, some of those gains back. And at this point, this probably is the end of this rally. If we get another, if we get a, um, a red candlestick here tomorrow, then we have great, basically created a top. And uh, that is an indication that we'll probably go towards the 15 moving average. Uh, all of these indicators are very stretched. The, um, the RSI is, uh, is, uh, is oversold. And uh, both the stochastic and the MACD um, 
are most likely going to break down towards the signal line indicating bearish momentum. This market is uh, way overstretched at this point. This is a fantastic rally, but it can't grow forever. So a break to the downside, 50 moving average is support. 200 moving average is also support. There's no reason to, uh, to uh, short this market. It is basically buying pullbacks uh, when you get a major major pull towards the 50 moving average, then there's a chance, uh, um, opportunity to get more value for this investment. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hitting the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.